Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning to each and to every one of you. So good to see you on this morning. So good to be back with you once again on this beautiful day. Y'all come on in, come on in for this is another day. Another day that God has blessed us with. Hallelujah. He chose you and he chose me that on today, Today, we would be coming together, that we would be connecting together. But more importantly, today, we are connecting with Christ. Today, we are having another morning with Jesus. Hallelujah. Y'all, come on. Come on in. I see you coming. I see you. While you're yet coming, do want to re remind or make known to everyone that's viewing today to. This month, all this month, we are just celebrating, celebrating our pastor and first lady's anniversary here at First Baptist Church South Hill. Pastor Michael Tolliver, Lady Bennett Tolliver, we're just so happy and excited about it. 34 years of ministry, and we bless God for them. So I invite you, I invite you on this coming Sunday, Sunday the 26th, if you are available, please, please come out to the church, 3633 Galbury Road. Come on out at 12 noon and begin to line up. We are going to have a parade where we're able to come through and just greet them and just celebrate them and love on them. So y'all come and get lined up. With it. We will start right at 1230. It is going to be beautiful. So we invite you. Come on out and help us celebrate our pastor and first Lady, amen, amen. God bless you. But look, I am Reverend Davis, executive pastor here at First Baptist Church South Hill. Our senior pastor at State is Pastor Michael R. Tolliver. We are happy today that we have this moment of sharing, coming together, and just being a blessing to you on today. Y'all, come on in. Come on in. We're going to have a good, good time on this morning today. Today is September the 20th, and our devotion simply today is worship in spite of. Worship in spite of. Hallelujah. Come on, let's get ready. Let's get ready now to dive into our devotional. This devotional is written by Grace Fox. Here it is. Well, Today's scripture of consideration often baffled grace. How, how could the disciples both worship Jesus and doubt him at the same time? She decided to research its meaning and, and what she found surprised her. In the original Greek language, the word used for doubt is distauzo. It implies hesitation or uncertainty about how to respond. No, it's not to be confused with unbelief. You see, in this context, 11 disciples, they met with Jesus shortly before his ascension. They worshiped him as a risen savior, but, but they doubted. They, they were unsure of how to respond to him should they should they bow on their faces or should they throw their arms around his neck and give him a big big hug should they engage in dialogue or should they remain silent in his presence you see understanding the meaning of this verse has truly helped her you know she tries to be intentional about daily living but sometimes occasionally she doubts too. Sometimes she's unsure about how to respond when her prayers are not answered as quickly as she would like. Should she keep on asking or, or reword her request and try again? Is she missing the mark completely? Is there something she should know or change before pursuing this prayer request any longer? Yes, yeah, she once thought that worship and, and doubt could not abide in the same heart. Now she understands that doubt, distazo, is part of our faith journey. 
So let's just be honest with Jesus when we are uncertain about how to respond to him. He knows our heart anyway. We can't hide it from him. Honesty with him deepens our intimacy with him. Hallelujah. Come on, let's just give God some praise on this morning. Somebody say, worship in spite of. No matter what the situation is, you're uncertain, you still worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, we thank you for this devotion on this morning. Worship in spite of. Hallelujah. Come on now, let's go to our scripture of consideration on this morning. Matthew 28, 17, scripture that baffled grace. Here it is. It says, when they saw him, they worshiped, but some doubted. Hallelujah. Matthew 28, 17, right here says, when they saw him, when they laid eyes on him, when they were able to witness him <laughs> alive again, they worshiped. They worship. They say, Lord, have mercy. God Almighty, it is you, our King, our Lord. They worshiped him, but then some, some of the elect, they doubted. But it's good to know that when you understand the scripture, things become clearer. It doesn't mean that they said, oh, they couldn't believe it was him, but they were confused. Yes, these brothers were confused about how to respond to him. They were confused about, do I go up and hug him? They were confused. I know he was just in the ground but here he is before us how do I respond do I just fall to my knees do I hug him do do I speak do I just listen they were confused about how to respond to him and I've come this morning to let you know it's okay there are some things there are some things that are going to happen in your life and it will cause you to be somewhat confused how to respond to God how to confront God how to come to God I'm reminded I'm reminded the very first time that really blew me away was when I lost my father Lord have mercy and and this thousand was there I didn't know how to respond how to come how to question God what to do next but I know one thing about it and I continued still to believe in him I continued to worship him even though I, 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 I had some concerns there I said how could you take my father but 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 God hallelujah I still worship I still praise him and I come by to let somebody know today that it's all right you, it's all right to let them know you have a concern, a question. You don't know how to respond, how to act, how to move, what to do, what to say. It's okay. We ought to be open and honest with him and allow him to continue to speak to us and lead us and reveal to us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for this word right here. Worship. You worship in spite of. You continue to believe in him in spite of. You continue to praise him in spite of the situation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, I thank you for this word. Come on, give him some praise. Send up some heart. Send up some love. When they saw him, they worshiped. But some doubted they were still in distazo. They were confused, confounded. And, and here it is. He says, worship. They worship in spite of. Hallelujah. Come on, let's go to God now in prayer. Hallelujah. Most gracious God, our heavenly Father. God, this morning we just come thanking and praising you on today. Worshiping you. For you are so worthy. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for just blessing us, waking us up on this morning. God, keeping us safe throughout this weekend and starting our new journey on this week. God, we bless you and thank you for that. God, for many laid down on last night did not wake up this morning, but you touched us, God, with a finger of love. You were picked us, you handpicked us, you breathed on us today. And for that, God, we say thank you. God, we ask you now, even as today proceeds, God, that you would just walk with us and be with us, God. And even as today, perhaps even we may run across a moment of distazo, God, allow us to be honest and true 
with you, but all in the midst we should worship. Worship you in spite of God. As the enemy comes against us and throws stumbling blocks in our way, we are to still yet worship God, knowing that you are with us and you are in control. Heavenly Father, right now, we ask you to continue to bless us, this land, this world, and this country. God, continue to bless those, touch those, God, who right now are going through sickness and disease. God, continue to touch and heal their bodies. Continue to, to restore faith in you, God. Continue to just bless families throughout the land. God, today we are just praying for all those who are here, all of those who are viewing, all of those, God, who, who, who will view even at a later time, God. We're praying that this week, God, will be a blessed week for them, God, that you will continue to show yourself and, and make yourself known to them even the more, God, that, that as they continue on this walk, God, they will feel your presence right there beside them. Hallelujah. God, I ask you now, Keep us that we might be kept. Bless us today that we may be more of a blessing to someone else. God, do it for your glory and for your honor. In Jesus' precious name we pray. And everybody said amen and amen. Come on, let's just give God some praise on this morning. Send up some hearts. Send up some love. Thank him this morning saying that we're worshiping in spite of no matter what happens, no matter what, what concern we may have, no matter what bit of nostalgia we are in, we're going to worship and praise you, God, for we know you are our Lord. You are our King. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you for this word. Well, I trust and pray that indeed today's devotion was a blessing to you. If it was a blessing to you, would you consider sharing it? Share it today. Share it with someone that share it to your page. Share it that others today might know that they are to still worship him in spite of. Hallelujah. Share this word on today. And for you, is there, I want you to think about, is there anything, is there something today that you don't quite understand? Tell Jesus about it and he will reveal to you. Well, I am Reverend Davis, executive pastor here at First Baptist Church, South Hill. Our senior pastor is Pastor Michael R. Tolliver and we're just so delighted today that again, We've had this wonderful opportunity of sharing, coming together, doing life together with you. We thank you for your time. We don't take it lightly. We pray blessings upon your life. I ask you now, tune in with us. Tune in with us again on tomorrow. Tune in 8 a.m. on my page, 8.30 a.m. on First Baptist Church South Hills page. We trust, we pray, we know that you will be blessed for having done so. Please know today that I love you, but God, God loves you best. Have a wonderful day in the Lord.